Hey guys, welcome to my Golden Sun walkthrough. This is Dark Thunder 412, and let's get started. What you gotta do, um, if you wanna name all of your characters though, is uh, press select three times. If you do it right, um, yeah, you'll hear that little beep right there. So, I'm gonna name my character Dark, because I'm Dark Thunder. Um, just gonna type that in right there. And, uh, delete, or end. Alright, for Garrett, I'm gonna name him Mado, or Mado, uh, because my brother's, uh, name is Madolin. So, yeah, I'm gonna name him that. Finally, um, oh, not finally. I'm gonna name Ivan Jolt, because, uh, my best friend, his name, his uh, account name is Joltman067. You should look him up. It's pretty cool. Well, I'm not sure if he has any videos, but for Mia, I'm gonna name her KC for uh, my buddy KC or uh, Kitty Cat Rars. So uh, I'm gonna use KC as the acronym for that. And uh, let's begin Golden Sun. So our mother's telling us to wake up. Um, nothing special right now. Uh, but apparently the boulder's gonna fall and kill us all. So, we have to go right now, or we're gonna die. So, I say we get her, take her advice. So, she makes this giant hand appear and somehow grabs our scarf. So, now, we say yes to everything that we have. Because a possession can be changed, but a life cannot. Um, so this is Kyle. He is Dark's father. And, um, nothing really special about him. Except that he's going to try to save the village with all the other villagers. So, we go outside. Um, Kyle's there. Uh, and Dora wants to know if we're able to stop the boulder. Uh, Pro Kyle sadly says that we can't. Oh well. But, um... So, we're gonna continue on with this. Lots of dialogue for this part. Um... So, now we're gonna leave... Dark. Oh, well, now they're gonna leave Dark all alone because... He's a 14 year old kid, and in pretty much every RPG I've seen, uh, the parents leave the kid at home almost definitely every time. It is kind of sad, to be honest with you. So, now we find our buddy Meadow. He is pulling on some luggage or whatever. He's saving his things, I guess? So, we're going to talk to him. And we tell him to just dump his dump his crap and get a move on because we want him to live because he's our best friend. So now we got Maddo in our party. And Oh god. Uh-oh. This is bad. What is going on? This cannot be happening. Oh god, the boulder. Oh, well, looks like four guys are trying to stop it. Pretty, uh, pretty smart guys. Um, well, looks like they're not going to be able to hold on to that for long. But why is that one guy? He's just, he just stops helping. He's a jerk. Sure, he tells us to run, but, um, with only three people, they can only hold it for a little bit longer when four people would be easier. And, um, great. Now we have to go around where the encounters are. Do-do-do-do-do. Run, 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 run. Alright, this guy. This guy is, uh, pretty weird. Um, he's, he thinks he's gonna die. If you say yes, He'll, um, he'll, he'll just lay there and die. He's, uh, pretty suicidal, I guess. He's giving up on life. But if you say no, then, uh, he'll just get up 
and be fine. What an idiot! Am I right, people? If you got hurt, or if you thought you got hurt, would, would you just lay there and wait to die? But, um, then you wouldn't even see if you were okay? Just sit there, lay there in the rain, probably die? Alright, well, this is a fight. Classic RPG encounter. Turn-based, of course. You got your HP, and you got your, um, PP, which is synergy points. Which, Synergy is the magic in this game. Alright, so, here we go. This is a bat. Ooh, nice, critical hit. And, um, that's basically all there is to fighting. Oh, crap. Alright, well, we attack, we attack. Alright, so here's your commands. Attack, flee, and status. Er, so now you got attack, attack, synergy, items, and um, defend. But right now we have no synergy, so let's attack. Because we are not going to run away or defend in a level 1 fight. I mean, who does that in RPGs? So, let's uh, continue on. Um... Moving on, there's a giant boulder in our way, looks like we're gonna go around AGAIN. Why can't this game just be nice? I mean, it's the beginning of the game, so it can't just go like, Oh, we're just gonna let you roam the village on your own. But no, you have to go through this entire park. So, this is Jenna, and the person hanging down there is Felix. And, oh god, he just went under. I think he might be dead. So now, Jenna's gonna freak out, and uh, so is her mother. But, looks like Felix is gonna be okay. So, they, they think about using a rope, but, um, nope. They, they don't, it won't reach, apparently. But, uh, what I, what I don't understand is, right there, Felix is hanging on for dear life. But, there's a shore, literally, a foot away from him. So, couldn't, wouldn't he just be able to grab the side? Ah, uh, it makes no sense to me. I guess the current might be fast, but uh, I wouldn't count on it. Alright, so, this is uh, Jenna. She is, um, she is basically a character in this game. She's she might be important, but well, from what it looks like right now, she looks important. So now your mother or Dark's mother is telling him and Meadow to go help Jenna. So we agree, of course. And uh, let's go. And uh, hopefully we will be able to make it in time because if we don't. Felix is basically screwed. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, but he's gonna die. Uh, you know, he's... Oh, nice, critical. He's just done for. I... I don't trust the people of this village. I mean, sure, they're using synergy to help each other, but it's not working. I honestly doubt that uh, they'll be able to save them in time. But, uh, let's see how the, this progresses. So, here we go. I'm going down the plaza. I just hit the A button there. That's why that thing popped up. Um, alright, here's the, uh, thing. You can use your synergy, uh, items. Each character has their own item screen. So, uh, each character, I believe, can hold 15 items. So, the more party members you have, the more item space you have. There's your stats, your levels, your power, your HP, your synergy points. Um, and then, neither of us has usual synergy. So, and then if you pause it, you can save, sleep, like put your game to sleep, and then uh, change your settings. So, we're going to change the window color. I remember loving to do this 
in the game Final Fantasy 7. That was just so much fun. So we're gonna shut off the speech because the speech in this game is just annoying. I'm sorry, but it, it is. Yeah, I know. Annoying. So we're gonna turn that off. Alright, so. Oh yeah, and we're purple because we're cool. So now there's these two guys. They are. They look powerful. So uh, they're gonna go run off. I'm pretty sure they're gonna die though because. God, I know I don't see them again. So, here's Jenna. She's, like, actually excited that we came to help. Of course we came to help. It's your freaking brother. Why wouldn't we want to help him? He's probably our friend, too. Alright, so this dude up here, he's, uh... I don't know what he's doing to that stone, but apparently he's touching it. Um, so he recovered his synergy. So, I, I guess the stone in the middle of the town will just restore anybody's synergy who comes up to use it? That's awesome! Why, why wouldn't they just have that, like, have shifts? Like, one person go... Like, one person switch out for another person, go, go down in the synergy stone, restore their synergy, and come back. And, and, and so on. Then you can have, um, only five people... You can have five people mending the boulder, or four people mending the boulder, and one guy running, running, um, getting his synergy back, then switching out with somebody at the boulder who's running out, and then they can go and switch it out. But I'm analyzing this too much. So, there's Felix, he's still alive, but, um, why are we talking? So, uh... We better come down there. Felix we're talking about. He's, uh... Uh, oh no. Oh no. What, what is going on? Oh, that is, that does not sound good, people. Does not sound good. Oh, there comes the boulder. Now, what happened to those mages? But, uh, this is pretty intense here, so, uh... Watch out! Here comes the oh no the boulder's gonna kill them oh no oh nuts well looks like Kyle Jenna's parents and Felix all got taken out by the boulder so this guy he's getting up he's ready to go on oh, on oh, he falls falls back so he tells Dark to go get some help. Dark, being the wonderful kid he is, just stands around. I'm controlling him, so I guess that's me being the way I am. So, Jenna's crying because, as you can tell, her parents are, like, gone. Same with her brother. She has, like, no family now. At least not that I know of. So, now, now Dora's crying about Kyle because Kyle was her husband. And it makes sense to be sad about that. Because who wouldn't be sad, honestly? What kind of cold, heartless person would be like that? Now, I don't know about any of you, but I would be pretty sad. Because... Well, see, I, would, I just proved my sadness. I, I uh, made Dark run, run away. He, that's how sad he is. Oh, God. Who are these guys? They, uh... They look pretty suspicious for, um, just people walking around. And plus, that music in the background, don't trust that pretty much, very much. So, apparently these two people are talking about some switch that made a storm and the boulder fall. So, why did they do it? I don't understand it. It's stupid. Oh my god. I probably will never never understand these two. Oh, oh god. Why did you have to open your big mouth? They hurt us. Come on, Maddo. Why'd you do that? And, uh, no, I wasn't eavesdropping. Gosh, I was just listening, or I was just reading your text. Gosh. Uh-oh. They look scary. Yeah, no duh. No duh, Mado. And yes, I should be talking to them because 
having scary friends is very important. Uh, it's not like they're gonna draw a sword on me or anything. Wait, what are they doing? They drew a sword on me. I'm... Uh, I'm afraid now. Yeah, take three damage. Oh, God. No, Dark! Dark! Tomato! No! They took you out, too? Oh, hold on, uh, hold on. Uh, uh, we're not finished with you. Oh, they ran away. Alright, but it looks like we're pretty knocked out. Um, oh, God. Well, here's the title screen after that 15-minute opening. Golden Sun, copyright 2001 Nintendo, and Camelot. Now, if you played any of the GBA Mario sports games made by Camelot, you'll notice that the graphics and music sounds a bit simi similar. And, uh, well, for a GBA game, this game has pretty good graphics. I'm not gonna lie. And, uh, the music. I love the music for this game. I could... Like, if any of you watched this, saw my video of the contest, uh, this song, that song that played was indeed from this game. And, uh, there's a lot more c to come. Because I love this game, I love the music. You should pick it up. So it looks like our friend Maddo has learned to make the giant hands appear like our mother did in the three years ago. So there's uh, Jenna talking to Matt Maddo. He's uh, he's just being himself. I mean, there's nothing really to put other than that. Ah, this game. So, uh, she's, uh, being all depressed about her family, which I understand, but, uh, it's been three years, but, uh, I, I understand, I lost, I lost somebody in my family, uh, well, actually it was my dog, but still, it, uh, I still think about her today, it's, it was pretty sad, actually, but, uh, I haven't really lost any, like, human relatives like that, so... I, it's probably way worse. But, um, seriously though, anybody can cry over someone dying. I mean, if I still think about it today, then why wouldn't somebody else? So, that is my input for today. <laughs> um, that is uh, Dark Thunder's wisdom of the day, I guess. Oh well. <laughs> Um, she don't want to talk about it, she, uh, she's just, she's just a nervous wreck. And Maddo is pretty weird now, I guess. Cause, uh, she called him weird about five seconds ago. But Jenna... Um, <laughs> um, yeah, they're gonna leave him behind, cause he's Garrett, no one likes him, er, He's Mado. No one likes him. But I still have a place in my heart for him. He's a... He's a pretty good fighter. Alright, talking about, like... The fighting. Si Apparently, they've all learned Synergy over the past three years. Maybe because they think it could help them. Who knows. But, um... Here, Dark is fixing his roof. Roof. Um, he's actually an Earth Adept, or, or a Venus Adept, because the four elements are named after planets. He controls, um, basically Earth, and that's about it. So, and, um, our friends, um, Mado and Jenna, they are both Fire or Mars Adepts, so they can use Fire Magic. Even though um, Mado doesn't seem like he's a big magic user, uh, so he's more of a fighting type character. Not bringing it back to Pokemon, he's not a fighting type Pokemon, he's a character that uses melee, not really magic. But um, still, every character in this game who, can use, who uses Synergy is 
very good. I'd say though, um, it's important to save your synergy. But that's something that's cool about this game. After you use synergy, it will come back when you're walking. That that's pretty cool, isn't it? So unlike MP from like Final Fantasy, you're not because ethers in that game are usually pretty rare, so um well I'm going off topic. So here we are all standing on the roof for some reason. I don't know why they're on the roof. It's pretty stupid. They just fixed it. I assume someone's gonna break it. But uh that's just my guess, people. That's just my guess. And then we're gonna go mountain climbing with Creighton. Hooray! Oh kids in their silly games. But honestly, uh, they're 17. I honestly doubt that, uh, they still go to school. I mean, sure, it might be their, um, their maybe the summer at, before their senior year if they're 17 of high school. Who knows? I'm probably overanalyzing this. So, um, Dora here is wondering about al alchemy. But, um, and she wants Dark to be normal, but everybody knows that RPG heroes are not normal. <laughs> everybody knows that. So, we're gonna be careful. And, no! She did it! She committed suicide! Oh god, no. Damn it, Mado, why'd you break it? Ah! Well, she's apparently fine. She's going like, oh, how exciting. And yes, you scared me. I thought my mother was committing suicide, so that's crazy. Why wouldn't I be nervous about that? I mean, wouldn't anybody? Uh, I, again, overanalyzing games, especially RPGs, is not fun. And there goes Mado again. He broke it again. We should really get off the roof, but we're not. That's that's just how we are. Um, this is uh pretty awkward now. Um, get uh honestly, um, Mado, you should be cleaning up. Why aren't you cleaning up? Like, you should fix that roof. I mean, you just broke it. Ugh. Oh well. So, um, yes, 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 way too much dialogue. I know it's the first part, but still, too much dialogue, it makes me mad. And, um, we get Mado and Jenna to join our party. Pretty, pretty intense there. So, let's continue on. Or have our mother talk to us more. Uh, oh, never mind. Let's go. So now we're gonna go head up here, go into our uh, our teacher Creighton's house. But uh, looks like I'm pretty much out of time here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little preview of Golden Sun as my um. Uh, what? How do I put this? My 100 video special. Um, this is Dark Thunder signing out.